What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be testing out the new lithium from Big Battery. These are the Eagle modules. It's one of their smallest batteries made for golf carts here. It's a 48 volt battery. Check this out. They only weigh like 30 pounds also. Very small. Fit just about any golf cart with little to no modifications at all. They come with mounting brackets. We're gonna go over everything that the kits include today. If you're thinking I already had a big battery Husky and I did a video, or I did actually a couple of videos, we went about 42 and a half miles on the first range test and almost 60 miles on the second range test. That is true. So I took that lithium battery and I put it in my big limo cart with the 33s. And I was really testing it because, hey, six people, 33 inch tall tires, 18 inch wheels, not golf cart friendly, if you know what I mean. The battery did not cut off whatsoever. So that battery has been living in that golf cart now for probably four months. And ever since I put it in there, this golf cart has been on lead again. So they reached out and said, hey, would you like to try these battery modules? Well, I've had great success with the Husky battery. I just had to say yes when they asked me if I'd like to try these batteries out as well. So I've had these batteries installed on this golf cart now for about two and a half, three weeks. Love it so far. On today's video, we're gonna go over everything and try to cover as much as we can about these batteries. Stay tuned. All right, let's jump right into this and go ahead and open the box and see exactly how this thing is packaged uh, for shipping. So I like to do this on all of my videos. To some people this may be boring, but this just goes to show not only do they make a great product, let's see uh, exactly how they package it up and, and ship the shirt here product as well. Packaged really well. See the styrofoam is really nice and thick. So that goes to show us right there. Number one, they've taken care of this battery. We have, looks like some mounting plates here. In the battery, inside of the bag, there's another piece of the styrofoam in the very bottom of the box there, as you can see. We're gonna go ahead and try to pull this battery up and out. And there you go, this right here is the single 48 volt big battery Eagle. So on the back of the battery here, as you can tell, the Anderson connection is at the top in this right here cubby here. This is a new feature and we're gonna talk about this in just a minute here. And this is the reset button there. So on this battery here, they list some features of the battery. You have your nominal voltage, which is 48 volts. Suggested charge voltage, 58.8 volts. Voltage range between 43 and 58.8. You have 30 amp hours of capacity. You have 1.536 kilowatt hours. The max continuous discharge current is around 80 amps. The max continuous power is 4,000 watts. The max charge current is 30 amps. The max discharge peak current for six seconds is 180 amps. So on this comparison here, let's see exactly how the Big Battery Eagle compares in size to a standard Trojan this is a T875 battery here. So let's go ahead and measure these two out. Your Trojan T875 battery in length is gonna be 10 and between 10 and 1 16th and 10 and 1 8th inches. This big battery here is gonna be 10 and 3 8 inch long. So on the side of these two batteries here or the width of these two batteries, the Trojan is measuring seven inches wide. The big battery is measuring seven and one eighth inches wide. The height of the Trojan battery, we're gonna just go to the height of the top of the case. I'm not even gonna go to the height of the top of the stud because that's gonna be a little bit taller there, but the height of this battery is gonna be nine and looks like five eighths inches tall. The top of the big battery Eagle it's gonna be nine and three eighths inch tall. If we go all the way to the top of the stud, 
that's going to be around 11 and a half inches tall to the top of the stud. So with this battery here, we're going to run these in parallel, not series. So when we run these in parallel, your voltage right here will stay the same. What's going to increase is going to be the amperage. So let's say for your capacity, which is 30 amp hours per battery, two is going to be 60, three is going to be 90, four is going to be 120 amp hours of capacity. Say we're going to look at the continuous discharge current, which is 80 amps. Two is going to be 160. Three is going to be 240. Four is going to be 320. Now, in order to mount this in a special needs application, they give you these mounting brackets right here. Now, the mounting brackets has a couple of slots on both sides of them. They come with four machined Phillips head screws. They also come with four metal self-tapping screws there as well. Let's go ahead and mount this for demonstration. So if you plan on using the mounting brackets that are included with these batteries to mount your Eagle battery down to your application, we're going to have to use the side with the three slots. As you can tell that the machine nuts are on the bottom. Now this is what the side of the battery looks like with the bracket installed. So this is the kit box that comes from bigbattery.com. We're gonna go ahead and pop it open here. Once we have the box open, the first thing that's gonna come with is this is your Anderson connector with the ring terminals. Let's go ahead and open up some more of this stuff here. This is your box with the charger. box here is going to be your distribution block so as far as this mounting block is concerned here you have six holes here and this feels like some really heavy duty plastic i'm not exactly sure what this is made out of it comes with six uh, very coarse phillips screws to mount this down with each one of these blocks here you have one label for a negative one you have labeled for a positive basically just pinch these covers and they pop up and we can put them back in once we have everything installed so this this goes to show you how you can access the middle bolt here by just removing this right here up and you can snap this off if you like this last little box here so this is a battery meter they're starting to include these and with the battery meters you have enough wire to extend it from your battery's connection to the dash of the golf cart now the cable extension that comes with the battery that goes to the external battery meter that's supplied with the kit this cable is roughly six feet wide now on back of the batteries they're going to have this plug that's actually going to stick out the back of the battery now this right here cable will only fit one way this is going to be a female version of the cable and it's going to have a little notch at the very top of it there you need to find the end of your cable that is direct opposite that has the male pins with the male slot at the top plugs in just like that as you can tell once you have those connected we're going to turn the battery on once we cut the battery on as you can see we have a four bars in the green one bar in the red all right so i went ahead and took the front cover away from the little box and i went ahead and removed this little meter here away from the front cover i did that because a long time ago i used to have a different a gauge on my dash and I'm hoping this right here will fit so let's try that out now let's see if this right here will fit this old gauge opening I had that gauge did have two small screws on it however on this one it doesn't I'm gonna slide this in here like so that's a tight fit but okay that looks good I don't have a hole on the dash if you're planning on doing the same thing just remove this right here meter from that cover cut you a hole in there and slide it into place make sure it's snug when you're doing it and it won't just be loose and falling out so that's installed so another thing here when you're installing the anderson cables they will only go one way this is not the correct way here it will not go that way it will only go this right here way positive is going to be towards the outside negative is going to be towards the inside This one here is fully installed. Another thing I like about this right here is you can't see the Anderson connector 
on the battery itself. You can remove these two Phillips head screws here. This cover here will come off and you'll be able to gain access to the Anderson connector. So before you install the Anderson connector into the back of the battery, be sure to turn the circuit breaker to the off position. You don't want to accidentally hit these and arc them out against each other and cause any damage to the battery, to the circuit breaker, to the BMS or whatever. Be sure to leave the circuit breaker off before you have everything installed. Then you can turn each one of them on one by one. All right guys, we got all four batteries installed. We also got the terminal blocks installed as well. And I just mounted them directly to the bottom of the floor of the golf cart. Now, on the terminal strips you see here, there's three here and one here. We did both of the driver side batteries to this one. We did both of the passenger side batteries to this one. We did the golf cart here. And over here I did the charge adapter with the ground that's going to the DC to DC converter. I did the same thing for the power. I did the driver side power going there. I did the passenger side power going to that lug there. The golf cart's going to this main lug that's sticking off here. And we got the DC to DC converter along with the charger adapter going right there as well. Now, this is what it looks like in place. And as you can tell, we went ahead and added the factory uh, bolt with this top plate here and was able to use this hole down for these two batteries as well. So in order to use the charger, we went ahead and plugged the charger in to the main Anderson disconnect there that we installed earlier. On the char this charger here that comes with this kit, it has a red light indicator. Red means it's charging, green means it's charged, and if it's flashing, that means something's wrong with the wiring and you need to check it out. All right, and just like that, all four batteries are now charged. We have the green light on the charger. The charger has cut off automatically and the batteries are around 55 to 55.1 volts each. So as far as the wire here that runs to the gauge up front, I ran it down underneath some of these cables through this main opening here, ran it down. I put it underneath this jacket going underneath the floorboard. I have it popping out right here. Next, I'm gonna run it behind this right here and plug it into the gauge right there. If you have a club car president as well and you wanna mount your meter up here, this right here is gonna be a T27 uh, Torx here and here, and up here is gonna be a T15 to enable to remove this right here dash cover. All right guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. If you're interested in a big battery, Eagle, uh, a Husky, a Gator, or any of the other batteries on Big Batteries website, you can use the coupon code FEDERTAINMENT in all caps. I'll be sure to put links down in the description below where you can save 10% off of your order from BigBattery.com. All right, guys, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch another one of my videos. If this has been informative, if this has helped you out of any, if this will save you some money, or whatever, be sure to drop a like. Uh, be sure to subscribe to follow the Fentertainment channel. Hit the bell notification to let you know every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, we'll see y'all later.